very good morning to you all how are you doing on this rather wet and drizzly summer's day here um, so today i'm going to be showing you how to make some very beautiful colorful bracelets now we're using some jump rings and some um, seed beads and we've got a whole mix of different colors you're getting lots in your kit today so if you are wanting to make all of one color you can do that i think there should be enough to make at least five bracelets if you've got some jump rings in your stash you could make a whole lot more i'm sure um, and if you've got some ear wires, you could make little earrings to match as well. So I'm going to say good morning to you all before I take you over to the website and you can have a little look at the bargain we've got for you today. So good morning to Debbie. How are you doing? She's got sunglasses on. Debbie, it's miserable here. Good morning to Lucy. Hello to Jan. She says good morning, Natalie and everybody. And good morning to Rachel from Barrow as well. And good morning to our lovely Nina. Hello to Anne. Good morning to Judith. Hello to Sue. And Jan says she's already ordered them. Oh, fabulous. Um, so in terms of your colours and your kits today, you're getting three different choices of metals. So you could choose from the gold and the black plate or the silver plate. And we're putting all the colours of these beautiful seed beads in there. So you can um, you can make a rainbow one. Obviously, rainbow themed jewellery is very prominent at the moment. Um, you could make all of one colour if you wanted to have an all blue one, an all green one, an all yellow one, whatever it is that you want to do. Um, so I hope you enjoy them, Jan. Um, good morning to Camille. She says it's a bit dull and cool here. How are we all? She's asking after you all. I hope you're all OK. Uh, good morning to Teresa. Hello to Tony. She says good morning, Natalie. Um, bacon, sarnie and a cup are at the ready. I mean, I'm pescatarian. I don't eat meat, but... <laughs> Of all the vegetarian options, there's there's nothing that absolutely like duplicates the wonders of a bacon butty. <laughs> hello to Barbara from Belfast. Good morning to Angela. She says hello Natalie from Horwick, working our way down to Norfolk in our camper van. I love a camper van, Angela. Um yeah, just go go wherever all the time. I'd never be home. Every weekend I'd be away if I had a camper van or a caravan. Um so I hope you're having a lovely time. Good morning to Aliumai. How are you doing? She says good morning to everybody. So I've got lots of you in already today. I really do hope you like these bracelets. Um, I hope the sound and the camera is okay. Kept booting me off this morning. Not my downward facing camera, this one. Um, and it was giving me like the, the camera in the laptop to view through instead. And I was all fuzzy. Um, and I've had a busy weekend, but I shouldn't be looking that fuzzy. So hopefully I had to restart it a good few times, but it seems to be working OK. I hope the sound settings OK as well. Uh, Lucy is replying. Um, I don't know who to possibly to to Mina. It just says replying. I can never see who's replying um, or what you're replying to. But she's put hope you're OK. Um, ah, Mina says she is, but she's tired, so it must be to Mina. I know Mina's been very busy this weekend with lots of different events and fairs. I hope they've gone really well for you. I know you're, um, you've been making rainbow bracelets, haven't you? So you should enjoy these ones, Mina. They should be right up your street. Good morning to Star. Star says, good morning, everybody. And Natalie, who's in Manchester. Good morning to Teresa. She says everything's good video and sound-wise, so that's okay. Camille agrees, so that's a relief. Um, Jan says, I've already clicked the like and the sent the hearts. Oh, she's on it. We've only been live four minutes. Well done, Jan. Thank you very much. Um, Debbie saying everything seems okay. Um, oh, Tony's making cheesecake later, if that's better. Yeah. I'll do. <laughs> Angela says, fingers crossed for you, but if it does go wrong, we can laugh with you. Thank you so much. Um, I'll try not to get too flustered. Good morning to Sharon, who's saying good morning to the creative bead and ears. Lucy says she's been busy this weekend too, and she's cleared the cupboard under the stairs. Do you know, you don't realise what a big job that is, do you? We did that um, a little while back. It's full again now to the brim. But, oh, my gosh, considering it's such a small space, we can pack some stuff in there. There's, like, all sorts under the stairs. Um, and every time I go in, I find something like, oh, forgot we had this. Um, Teresa says rainbows are the best for summer. Um, and Mina says it was a busy weekend and she sold out on the stitch bracelet. So she spent a fortune and she's ordered some more. Um 
Oh, Star, yes, I can indeed. Star is asking, what is the name of my wire wrapping business so she can follow me? I am Rock Scissors Paper on Facebook. And if you want to find me on Instagram, I'm Rock Scissors Paper underscore crafts. A bit random with the name. I do, I do appreciate that. Um, I started off doing like box frames and paper cuttings. So I was doing a lot of pebble art. So I'd started with Rock Scissors Paper um, and the name's just stuck. Now it is just for my wire wrapping. So yeah, head over and follow me. I'd really appreciate that. Um, and if there's anything you see on there that you think you would like, then please let me know. If there's anything on there that you think I would like to make that myself, then send me a little message and we'll see what we can do in terms of tutorials. Um, oh, Jan, thank you. She says, I look forward to the lives. They're very inspirational. And um, Lucy started to declutter and it was madness under the stairs she's put. Um, Elaine says, good morning to everybody. Hello to Jackie. Um, Lucy, are oh, you little love? This is the link for for my Facebook, if you'd like to, you'd like to follow me there, you're most welcome to. I've also got a playlist on um, YouTube. It's just Nat Pattern. Um, and if you click on that pattern, you can subscribe on there as well. I share all of these tutorials. Any tutorials I do, I will share on there as well. So you can find them. They're mainly totally beads because there's there's hundreds of them, um, but you can always, I don't go live on that, but I do share, I have a little playlist, so you can find them there as well. I've also got Facebook, Natalie Pattern Wire Artist, so I put lots of things on there as well, um, and I always share the links to that, uh, to these tutorials, so you can find me all over the place. Um, thank you very much for that, Lucy. Sharon says she's had a busy weekend coming up, doing a pretty um, muddy cancer research race on Saturday. Oh, good luck with that. It's a really good cause. But yeah, there's not much pretty about it. Um, it is a really good cause. So thank you for that. I hope it goes well. And I hope I hope the weather's not too hot for you, but also not not too wet because you sound like you're going to get muddy anyway, Sharon. Um, Esther says, good morning all from a very wet Preston. Um, good morning to Ruth. Joe is in. Hello. See, now, Joe says, long time no see. I've been busy, but I promised myself um, a jewellery day for today. Well, it's like we knew you were coming, Joe, because these are rainbow. And um, I know that Lucy particularly calls you Miss Rainbow, doesn't she? So I'm sure you'll like these ones. Um, and there you go. Lucy says, hope you're well, Miss Rainbow. Nice to see you here. It's lovely to have you. I hope you've been OK. Julie says, good morning, Natalie and everybody. Um, and Camille saying hello to you as well, Joe. Right, I'm going to take you over to the website. They are quick makes, and you can you can do really pretty much what you want with them. We've just included lots of different colours, so you can you can choose what you like. Okay, um, let me take you over to the website. Then you can find all our tutorials. I'm hoping the sound just plays along because what I've noticed is when I share the website it goes out of sync and it's really frustrating if you're watching and my mouth's doing something and my hands are doing something and yet my voice is not quite there so hopefully this works but <laughs> <laughs> okay, so head over to totallybeads.co.uk where you can find all of our video tutorials here. We've got loads and loads going on. Um, Kitty always does tutorials, usually on a Wednesday. I'm always here on a Monday and a Friday. And we've got the lovely Laura who's joined us as well, who's going to be doing a lot on a Wednesday, especially while Miss Kitty is away. Um, so you'll see today we are doing the Camellia ring bracelets. Now, a few of you have said you've not named one after me yeah well just bear with me if you would like to be named a piece of jewelry then put me in the comments and I'll make a little list these are camellia but I have a camille coming up Lucy you've already got one so I'm, I'm, I can't call it the same thing twice I try not to call it too similar as well because I don't want you to get confused but these are the camellia ring bracelets and look how just look how colourful we are. So they're six ninety nine today. They should be seven pounds ninety nine pence, but you've got that lovely discount. You're going to make five bracelets up, and your bracelets are about seven inches. These ones, um, 
but you are getting tons of seed beads so if you wanted to you'd have enough to make an all green one an all yellow one an all blue one an all red one or you can do a mix like this the only thing you really have to choose today is what color um jump rings and clasp you would like so we've got black rings gold rings or silver rings so i've put them all together in a mix on each of those and i will show you them inside the kit so you can see what you're getting now as i say if you've got jump rings at home you can make even more of these I, there's going to be enough for at least five but as i say you're getting loads of seed beads there also if you've got a pair of ear wires you might want to make a little pair of danglies with them as well we're using two sizes of your jump rings today it's chain mail because we're joining those jump rings together so we've got six millimeter which is my usual smaller size jump ring that i go for i think that's your outer diameter and we're going to be using two of those just to kind of just to add that effect really you can just use the one if you want they do work just the same but I think you know a two on one looks quite nice so we're using the six millimeter jump rings and we're using the 10 millimeter jump ring today and you're getting your toggle clasp and your seed beads if you want to have a little scroll down it should show you the products on the kit here so these are the black plated colored findings that you're getting you've got that lovely little rope toggle toggle which is 10 millimeter and you're going to obviously get enough to make five bracelets there so you're going to be getting five toggle clasps in your kit um if you've got any extras a lobster clasp would work as well if you've got those in your stash if you want to get a little bit more out of your kits we're using size six seed beads and they are the transparent seed beads so we've got the green the red the yellow and the blue for you now they're fairly irregular in size they're nice little chunky ones i think a size six so they look nice they're really bright really colorful and very very cheery so that is your black plate they all look pretty much the same it is just your findings if you like the gold plate i think i'm going to demo with the gold plate today just because i usually use silver so i think it's nice just to to show you something different this is your bracelet in gold you can see we're just popping the seed beads onto there the size six fit really nicely onto those um 10 millimeter jump rings sometimes you might get one that just doesn't quite fit but you're getting so many in your pack you can pop that to the side you can use that for something else you might want to pop them on a little pin or a dangle or of course you can stitch bead with these as well whatever you fancy doing so we're just threading them on i'm using six seed beads of each color um but again you, you don't have to mix those colors up if you think i'm somebody maybe like camille who likes your warm tones like your reds and your yellows then you could do one of those if you like me and you like blues then you could do that whatever you fancy so this one is your silver kit today at least five bracelets being made here and they are six pounds 99 for all of that in your kit or you've got the silver and the silver is very pretty too so again if you want to scroll down have a little look um, you are getting the blue seed beads in there. It's not showing at the moment, but they are there and they are the size six. So you can see what your toggle clasp looks on that one as well. Very pretty. Well, I like them anyway. I think they're very summery, very bright and very colourful. So drop me a comment. Do you want a, a particular make named after you? And um, let's see what I may have missed in the comments. Um... Jo says she's good. It's lovely to see us all. Star would like one. Star, that is a very, very pretty name. It'd have to be something star shaped, wouldn't it? I have done a, a Charlotte stars with the cat's eyes. And that was in honour of our tutu who used to send us stars quite frequently. So I thought she definitely deserves something named after her. Um, but I'll see what I can make which is maybe star themed jan would like one as well are you a jan or a janet um camille's giving me a smiley face Teresa says me something elegant Teresa, i am pretty sure i have done one for you in the next couple of weeks i can't remember what it is though <laughs> um i also like to have a little look what your name means and see what fits so today this is camellia because it's kind of floral they look like little flowers to me lucy shared the link for you today thanks for that lucy so if you're looking where can you find our tutorial head over the totally beads website click on the jewelry making category and you will find us in the facebook tutorials and we are camellia ring 
bracelets. Anna says, good morning, everyone, from a windy but sunny Perth. Lucy's asking me where the pink is. I was just going for primary colours, Lucy. I didn't think pink was going to work. <laughs> Sorry, I'm sure you've got pink seed beads probably in every size you could use. Sharon says they look lovely and they're great for pride events. I think so too. Um, Mina's just ordered some more beads. Good morning to Joanne. She says, good morning, all sunny. Oh, it's sun. the sun is out, but it's windy in Coventry. It's been really windy this weekend, isn't it? Um, Ollie, you nice, going to go to her appointment, so... Best of luck with that, my lovely, and we'll see you soon. Um, Camille says the sun's coming out. And Star says, my mum left me. Uh, is a 401 or 401 seed beads? I don't I don't know. Lots, lots by the sound of it. I don't know if that's the name of the seed beads or whether that's the amount of seed beads she's left you. Um, Shelley says, good morning. All day off today, so able to catch you live instead of on replay. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, Oh, Mina's gonna oh a four O L says Star um forty L um Mina's got a, a pride event in Hink Hinkley um so that's on the fifteenth of July so uh you can you if you order these today you'll definitely have them ready before then um Teresa says my daughter bought me a whole bunch of six O's and now I have to do something to make with them Jan says they're very pretty Star says they're very colourful um she also says thank you my mum was a hippie I think we'd have got on and um, that used to be my nickname when I was a little hippie um. Lucy says, I'd like a bracelet named after Ruth. Oh, OK. I don't think we've had a Ruth. Right. I'll pop that down on my list. Um, oh, Janice. OK. Not a Jan. Not a Janet. A Janice. That's, that's pretty. I'll go with that one. Teresa says, yay. I think that's because something's going to be made. I'm going to have to double check on I make sure I've got one. Rachel says, I know my name means female sheep. It means little lamb. It does, Rachel, because my sister's middle, uh, my sister's first name is Rachel, and her middle name is Sarah, which I think is princess. So she's a little lamb princess. It doesn't mean female sheep. It means little lamb. I'm sure. Um, Ruth says, "How could you not do a pink?" I'm so sorry to you all. Uh, Kate says, "Good morning from a warm Wisconsin." Hello, hello to Antonio. Antonio says, "Good morning, Natalie. Looking forward to this one. Um, a bagel and a coffee ready. I don't want to rumble in." tummy to disturb the tutorial sometimes my tummy makes so much noise sometimes i think you might be able to hear it on the camera um i never read before my life i'll have a coffee and that's it um camille says the guard at the place my mum used to work always called me camellia in cantonese and he would pronounce it he couldn't pronounce camille okay well you've got to then camellia camille um Mina says a kit has full, fallen into a basket. Oh my goodness, Star says it was 40 litres of seed beads. Oh, well, these will keep you busy then. Get a load of jump rings. Hello to Barbara. She says, I got a crystal carving delivered. I bought uh, crystal pumpkins for my daughter and other bits. Oh, how lovely. I've done some crystal, Um, I've done a pumpkin tutorial with you, didn't I? I think that was, what well, would have probably been around October, Halloween time, maybe, uh, yeah, it must have been all, all autumn, like harvest time last year. I think it was last year. Uh, Jan says, spiritually, my name means God has been gracious. Gift from God. That's very nice, isn't it? Um, my name means birthday of the Lord. Because don't get me to pronounce the, the Latin version of it. But um, Natalie means birthday of the Lord. And I was called so because I'm born about six days before Christmas. Um, Rachel says, my middle name is Mary, which is a family name. And um, OK, Camellia in Cantonese is San Cha Fa, says Camille. Did I did I butcher that pronunciation? <laughs> right, let me take you down on the mat. Let's get going. We've been chatting away, haven't we? These are your beautiful Camellia or San Cha Fa bracelets today. So you've got your silver, your gold and your black plate too. Um, do excuse my nails. I have tried to put a bit of glitter on them this morning because I was doing some wire work yesterday and I chipped this one and it's a little bit smudged. So I re reapplied it. It might smudge again on the live. Um, Jan was born three days after New Year. Uh, do you get to go out much, Jan, for your birthday or is everyone staying home because they've been partying for so long? Um, Star's now going to look up the meaning of her name now. Okay, so to make a seven inch bracelet, I'm going to use 13 
of my um, 10 millimeter jump rings. I've got the gold ones here for you today. So I'm just gonna be popping my seed beads directly onto there and then joining them together with two little jump rings. It's a really, really straightforward and easy make. Then to attach my toggle clasp, I'm just gonna be popping one jump ring on um, because it's gonna fit nicely through that little toggle at the end. You can do all sorts with these if you wanted to. As I say, you could use just one color. You could make a little pair of earrings up with them. I think they would be pretty too. Um, obviously, you're getting enough of your findings in your kit to make about five bracelets today. But you're gonna have lots of the seed beads left. So I'm just gonna prep a little bit to be fair to begin with. And all that means is I'm just gonna open up my jump rings. Now I've spoken to you about this quite a few times. If I'm opening a 10 millimeter jump ring, a six millimeter jump ring, it really doesn't matter what size I'm using as long as I'm getting as much surface area as possible. And just where that little opening there is at the top, I'm just gonna give it a little twist towards me. I'm not opening it massively, just a couple of millimeters and I'm gonna turn it towards me or away from me. I'm not opening it out. If, I'm gonna get one just to show you. If I start opening it out, and by out, I mean opening it this way. Not only is it not really gonna open, but I'm gonna start putting a load of pressure on this bit. I'm gonna start distorting it. When I then come to close it, it's not really gonna meet. Can you see where I've tried to pull that out? I'm now going to start distorting that shape so it's not going to be perfectly ring shaped. I'm also, if I keep opening it too much, again, I'm going to really distort that shape. And eventually, I'm going to weaken this part here and it's going to snap. So when I open my jump ring, I'm just taking one between two pairs of pliers and that's all I need to two um, pairs of pliers today. They can be chain nose, flat nose, whatever, not round nose, but just two pairs of pliers. Or if you want to, you can use your jump ring opener and I'm just gonna give it a little twist towards me. And then to close it, I'm just gonna pull it back in the opposite direction. Now it can be a little bit tricky to close when I've put the seed beads on. So you might see me cheating a little bit and just using my finger. So I'm gonna add six seed beads in the same colour but if you wanted to you can mix your colours up on this as well so if you wanted to put six in a mix of colours you can do. I'm using six because I want those two jump rings just to sit neatly at the side so I'm just pinching it here at the top once I've opened it just so I can slide my seed beads on and obviously you are going to be filling that space so you just want to kind of grip the end. Don't worry if you drop them. I'm sure at some point that will happen. Now I'm going to get my um, plier. In fact, I'm going to get my smaller pliers just to close. Just bear with me. I've got them to hand on my tray. Amina says my name means fish. Um, okay. And Rachel says I looked it up. Um, it's you or female sheep after biblical Rachel who tended the sheep. Oh, okay. So maybe you're not a little lamb, maybe you're a you. Um, Antonia said, only a coffee until lunch. My tummy, tummy will be rumbling like mad. Yeah, I tend, don't really eat much during the day. And then at the evening, I just scoff. <laughs> um, yeah, Jan says her birthday tends to be overshadowed by Christmas and the New Year. So I generally celebrate on New Year's Eve. Yeah, my birthday can be a little bit like that as well. Um, and Anna says she would love for an Anna or better still, a Alina. Oh, okay. Let me have it. Oh, oh, I'm going to be adding. I'll watch this back later and I'll add it. I'll add these names to my list. Okay. So I'm just getting a smaller plier really there just so I can grip that top. Now I'm not filling the whole thing. There's going to be a little bit of space because I want to add my jump rings on the bottom and on the top there or just in between those three so i'm just going to keep going and i'm going to add on six so in terms of a seven inch bracelet i use 13 of my jump rings and i tend to have three of one color and four of one if that makes sense so i might use four blues four jump rings full of the blues 
and then three will have all reds, three will have all yellows, and three will have all greens. Now you can see here they're going on fairly fairly straightforward but they do sometimes vary in size in terms of you might see you've got a more chunkier one than the other sometimes I cheat and I just push it with my finger as long as that's fully closed you might find it's easier than trying to get your um, pliers around on the other side so you are seeing me being a little bit naughty today so just six seed beads sliding them on really easily sometimes I just readjust moving my pliers towards the end why I fill that up but they should go on without any problem I'm cheating I'm gonna keep cheating as long as they're closed up they're fine so I've got three blues I'm gonna add some more of my reds on now get my jump rings out in fact I'm going to do four reds and you can start and finish with the same color you can make this longer by just adding on more of your jump rings or you can make it smaller by just adding less it's a really straightforward make and what's really lovely about this make is if you're making for somebody and they say it's too big or it's too small you can just very easily take one off or add another one on so I'm going to be good I'm going to get hold of my plier and I'm just closing that jump ring over and I just like to sit and batch make these so I'll just open my jump rings up in advance and then I'll just tend to make so many of one colour and so many of the others. And then it's just a case of assembling them. However, you know, as I keep saying, if you want to just have them all red or all blue, you're getting plenty in your kit to be able to do that. But it's nice to mix the colours up. If they fall off like that one's just done, just pick it back up again. It won't take very long. So I've got six seed beads and I'm just going to give it a little close over um morning Trish Rachel says my niece has the same problem she'll be 13 on Christmas day I mean I wouldn't want to be born on Christmas day find it like I mean, I like my birthday being Christmas. I like being a Christmas baby. There's always twinkly lights. A lot of the time, you know, sometimes people have broken up from work or school um, for the holidays. It's just a, it's a, there's just always a lovely atmosphere about. Um, I do sometimes get birthday presents in Christmas paper, but that doesn't bother me too much. Just very grateful to have a present. <laughs> I do know people who are born on Christmas Day and they celebrate, I, they choose a date in the middle of summer to celebrate instead. And I think you do what makes you happy, don't you? I, I like I like my birthday when it is. That, that's just how it is. Lucy says it's a cute little make today, really straightforward to do. I'm going to be good. I'm going to try and use my pliers on this one. So you can see I'm just moving it back in the opposite direction, just pulling it away from me. Sometimes I'll give it a little wiggle just to, to line it up a little bit. So I'm just going to start kind of batch making these. I've done a couple in, in advance and I'm just going to start adding them together now with my jump ring so I'm going to get my six millimeter jump rings out and just take your time with this it can sometimes be a little bit fiddly um getting between those seed beads but I've not really had much trouble with it right I'm going to start with a red one and I'm just going to follow a kind of color pattern so I'm going to open up my six millimeter jump ring and I'm going to slide that on in between my beads now I have got six on this one but 
they are a little bit smaller so there's a little bit more of a gap here so I'm just going to open up two and I'm going to slide that on now what I can do is I can add my other one as I go as this is my starting one I'm going to pick up another color so I'll pick up a green one and I'm going to attach that on as well at this point I don't need to worry too much about where I'm putting it but I do want those jump rings to be next to each other so sometimes it will slide over the seed bead just take that one off and readjust and other times it won't but if it does it doesn't matter because then when I join them together to the next one they stay in place so I've got one jump ring of the six there that's just going to go over both of the colours that I've picked up and I'm going to just close it over and then attach another one so I've got two on two so two on one rather so when I now put those down they're not going to move around and then I'm going to attach my next two jump rings just in between so I've got three on both sides let me move up a little bit more so I'm going to add my next ones into there so uh, Jan says it's my oldest son's birthday on Friday and he's gonna be 40 happy birthday to your son hope he has a lovely lovely day it's my husband's 40th this year so I do uh, need to sort out what we're doing for presents I've already attached these two together so I'm was going to just make a little pair of earrings with that i might do that in a bit okay so i've got red green i'm going to go for a blue one now so i'm going to open it up slide it on wherever but on this one on the green one i'm going to pop it in between so i've got three green seed beads on one side and three green seed beads on the other just close that jump ring up and open another so I haven't prepped these jump rings I should have probably sat and opened a few of these up first but they are quick make so it really doesn't matter so I'm sliding this jump ring next to it don't want it through it I just want it next to it and then I'm gonna just close that back up making sure they're nicely closed and then my next two jump rings are going to sit here Joanne said I had the same difficulty with my eldest daughter she was born on the 19th of December so I grew up thinking all the Christmas decks were for her and the only um, wrapping paper available was Christmas paper my nephew was born New Year's Eve and his sister my niece was born a few years a new new year's day both fed up of celebrations for new year as they feel they don't get to enjoy their birthday properly oh bless um i just think well most people will be in the mood for celebrating even if you're not christian and you don't celebrate christmas it's a nice time of year holiday season um and a lot of people tend to be off school and things so i i didn't really mind it okay so i'm now adding a yellow one on so i'm going to go for three seed beads either side and then just attach my yellow jump ring star says you make it look so easy i don't think i'm making it look as easy as it is today to be honest <laughs> but it is really straightforward you're literally just opening up your jump ring and i'm only opening it up by a few millimeters that's more than enough to just hook it round both of those 10 millimeter jump rings and then just close it back over so once you've added your seed beads on it's just a simple case of just assembly I will open up a couple of these um six millimeter jump rings while I'm sitting here um I don't know if I've missed any comments or questions so I've got lots planned for you for well I, I've, I've I've made so far about a month's worth of tutorials I've got months to still do um, but I'm pretty sorted for July now I'm trying to get ahead of the game because 
obviously my little one he's got strike days this week so i won't be with you wednesday um i will be with you on friday even though he's on strike again not him personally but the school <laughs> and um i've got summer holidays coming up so we're gonna you know my my time working is gonna be um limited so I'm, I'm trying to trying to get ahead of myself and make sure i'm organized and everything's in an orderly fashion so i've done my red green blue yellow you can put these on in any order you want but once i've done them all i'm just going to repeat that pattern so i'm going for a red again again just popping my first jump ring in between three of the seed beads on either side so it's sitting in the middle and then bring the next one in just next to that jump ring. Just slide it on. Make sure you're not sliding through that six millimeter jump ring. You just want them to sit next to each other. Mina says, I'm not happy as my son is off Wednesday and Friday too. Plus schools close next Thursday in Leicester. Yeah, they're gonna be on their summer holidays, aren't they? Like very, very soon. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do to keep them occupied, but I'm sure sure we'll find something. Um, they just seem to be off for such a long time. This is my first summer holidays with him now. Obviously, when I worked in education, I did have some of the summer off. Not all of it, but I did have some of it off. Um, but this is my fir first summer holidays school holidays as a mum so yeah i'll um I'm, I'm i am looking forward to it i just hope i can keep him entertained for, <laughs> for the months that he's on once i've done my green one i'm just going to slide in the middle and do the blue and when you pick up your next jump ring to attach you can pick and put, put that on anywhere it's only when you're attaching the six millimeter jump rings that you want to make sure that they sit in the middle. But if you've got an even, even number, they will sit centrally. Tony says, nabbed a kick, going to make one for my niece. Today she's getting raspberry and white chocolate cheesecake. Tony, you just, you're just making me hungry. Oh, that sounds amazing. I did pick some raspberries from my mother and father-in-law's garden the other day and a load of potatoes too. And you know, they were the biggest raspberries I've ever seen and they were so lovely. Just had them with some vanilla ice cream. <laughs> it's not even 11 o'clock and I'm talking desserts. Okay, after I put that right colour, yeah, I'm going for the yellow again. So... All I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep going with this pattern until I've got the length that I want. Um, I might make this one a little bit smaller so it fits me. <laughs> but these are, um, I've made them to seven inches. So I'm using um, 13 of the 10 millimeter jump rings. After the yellow, I'm going for a red again. think these would look nice all of one colour as well so if you do want to just use one colour if you see beads then that'll probably even it'll be even easier to do because you're not having to to look at your your colour pattern you're just picking them up okay just making sure those jump rings aren't going through each other just next to each other so a nice Nice quick make for you today. Um, it is chain mail. Anything with jump rings is is technically chain mail. Um, you need a green one next, don't I? I'm gonna make another green one. Um, but yeah, it's a really straightforward, nice, simple make to do. You'll have these done really, really quickly. And they are very popular, um, I think, because everyone likes a rainbow. So I'm going to go red, green, add another blue, add another yellow, 
and finish with a red. I'm just popping them in the order while I'm chatting to you so I know what I'm doing. But if you do make a mistake and you need to pull it apart again, it's just a case of opening that jump ring. It's, it's very easy to rectify. Um, Barbara says, school in Northern Ireland finished last Friday, did it? And when do they go back? I suppose it depends on the school, doesn't it? Um, don't think Frank's back till like, I think it's the 6th of September. He's off for months. It is funny because when I was little, the six weeks holiday, it felt like forever. And then it went really, really quick and like, you'd come back and you'd be like, I've forgotten how to hold a pen. And then when I worked in education, I never had the full six weeks. I was always back um, middle of August, really, for enrolment and things when I worked at the college. So it went super quick. So I'm quite in, interested to find out how this is going to feel. I don't think I'm ready for him to start big year one. He's just leaving reception. Um, I don't know. I think I feel a little bit more more emotional about him going into, into proper big school than I did in just starting school in, in general when he left nursery. Um, he's ready for it. Just It starts becoming a lot more formal, doesn't it, really? Like, he, he's only five, so at the moment in reception it's very play orientated um and they learn by playing which i think is is the best way so i don't know i think his uniform will change as well he'll probably have a little tie i need to get myself organized because it will be here before we know it and he goes through uniform so quickly because he's a mucky pup Antonio says, mmm, cheesecake, thinking about lunch already. <laughs> Might go fish and chips with mushy peas. Well, you, oh, I don't know what I'm having. Oh, I'm going to make a risotto, I think, tonight. <laughs> don't know what I'm having for lunch. Maybe a piece of toast. Okay, so when I'm happy with the length of the bracelet that I've got, this one is probably about, it will be seven inches when I put my clasp on. Just adding that last jump ring on. I love the fact that we are a jewellery making um, channel. And yet what we tend to do is talk about the weather and talk about food. It's going to be like recipe show instead. Hi, Barbara. She says, here they go to nursery at three and then P1 at four, which is big school. Yeah, so it, it's similar. Um, Frank started um nursery at three and then he um he did start um reception in in school properly when he was uh four and then but it, it's a reception part of the the primary school so it's still as i say very like play led um now he's he's five and he's going into year one. I think, you know, he's going to be sitting at a little desk and things like that. Okay, to finish my bracelet, I'm just going to add one of my six millimetre jump rings. And I'm getting my toggle clasp out, which is this gorgeous little rope toggle. It is going to match your kit finding. So if you chose the black plate, you'll get the black one. If you chose the silver, you'll get the silver toggle. And I'm demoing here with the gold, so I'm going to get the gold toggle. I'm still putting three of the seed beads either side of that jump ring just to push them slightly outwards. And then I'm just sliding on my toggle and closing that jump ring up. And my bracelet is complete and done. And it will look like this. Really, really cute, really, really pretty. I... I can fasten it, but it is, I'd say I'm probably about one, one jump ring too big for me. Well, I could wear it loose. I just think they're really cute. They're really comfortable to wear. Lucy says they're so cute. Um, Joanne says, if I were all sat in the same room creating, I'm sure the conversation would be the same. Yeah, I know we would. Um, 
we, we would be just no, the thing is, though, Joanne, we'd be sitting and eating cake and things as well, wouldn't we? We'd all be like, right, you've got to make something to eat while we, we make something to wear. <laughs> Star says it's lovely. Camille says it's lovely. Um, Teresa says it looks really nice. You know, I've got a few minutes. I'm, I'm going to make a little ring as well. I'm just going to show you, you know, what it might look like if you decide to, if you've got some ear wires in your kit and I might might just do them the same color as well I mean you could just take a little section I think those three colors would look really pretty together they all look really nice I'm gonna gonna quickly make an earring I might just do them all in blue so again I'll, it's or you can mix your, your colors you could put blues and reds and yellows all on the same one it's up to you so I'm gonna add three Five. Just moving my pliers slightly towards the end to hold it in place just while I hinge it on. I am cheating, I'm using my finger to close it. Oh, oh, and with that, it's cut my camera off. <laughs> Maybe he doesn't want me to make earrings. Let's see if we can get this on again. I mean, we finished the bracelet, so that was the main thing. You know what's up with my cameras today? We've been doing so well. Maybe it just times out after like forty minutes. Right, let's let's bring us back up. Um, Barbara says, with the rings and the seed beads I have at the moment, I'm only getting four on. It might be the size of your jump rings. If you got ten millimeter jump rings, Barbara, and you use it size six seed beads. It might just be that your seed beads are like a little bit more chunky. If you've got four on, that's fine. As long as you can, you've got like an even amount, you can still pop your smaller jump ring in the middle of those. So that would work as well. Um, I mean, you could possibly change this with, with you know, different. So I think this is a, is a good size person. I think the 10, 10 millimeters is a good size, but you could try it with a smaller size if you wanted to. Um, Barbara says she's not sure. It was just what she had to hand. It, it's probably maybe the size of your, you see, beads or the size of your jump ring. But it, it will still work as long as you can get those smaller jump rings on to attach. Okay. So let's just do some little blue ones. I kind of want to add a yellow in the middle. Oh, they'd be like, yeah, I get me nuts. Do you know, I heard something really interesting about the camera. <laughs> Chatting away to you know, I don't know how true it is. I had a little look in the garden and it seems to be true. So, if you look at a little forget me not, it's got a yellow center in the middle. And once B has pollinated it, um, it turns white, and that's apparently why it's called a forget me not because then the bees know which ones have already been pollinated. Is that true? Have I just read a, a random random fact? <laughs> um, you might notice there what I'm doing is I'm just checking some of the yellow um, seed beads definitely fit on. Um, they should do, but you might get one which has maybe got a slightly smaller hole in the middle. If that's the case, just, just slide it off and pop another one on. One, two, three, four, five. I need one more for six. Um, Tony says, oh, now I want pizza. Thanks, Antonio. Um, and Tr Trish says, very interesting if it is. I did make it up. I definitely read it. Um, and as I say, when I looked in the garden, it, it, there did seem to be some with little white centres in it and some with little, little yellow centres. So I hope it's true because I really like it if it is. Full useless information, mate. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. Like, I'll just do it for now. Um, oh, Esther says great tutorial. Thank you. You're most welcome. Come and find out all about random facts. What everyone's having for tea and make a piece of jewellery at the same time. So your kits today are an absolute bargain. They are six pounds and ninety nine pence. You're getting enough to make at least five bracelets. Because we're popping in your, your five clasps and things there. Um, 
you might need some more jump rings because you'll probably have quite a lot of your um, seed beads left over. So you can play about with the colours if you want. You might want to do one rainbow. You might want to do one or one colour. Um, there should be enough there for you to play around with the design. I'm now going a little bit rogue. Um, and I have a little pair of ear wires, which are just, they're not out of the case, they're just out of, of my stash. And I think I'm going to make a little pair of earrings. So all I'm doing is I am going to mix up my colours. I'm just going to add three on. But again, you could make them as dangly as you wanted. Making sure that jump ring is going in between. So I've got three seed beads on each side. And I'm just doubling up my six millimeter jump ring. And then popping another one on there, just next to it, hooking that around. So I'm catching both of those 10 millimeter jump rings with the seed beads on. And then I'm gonna add just one to the top, but still in the center. And then I'm going to just pop on my ear wire. You can, if you want, you could add two on and then another one onto the top. So which way will my ear ring sit in? It's going to sit at the side. So actually, I'd quite like it to sit the other direction. So I'm going to pop on another jump ring, just for design purposes. Is sliding a little bit at the moment over those seed beads, but that's fine. Once I've attached it, it, it will stay in place. Closing that up. And then I'm going to put another six millimeter jump ring through those two. Popping that back over. So I've got my seed beads on either side. I've opened up my earring hook there. So I'm going to close that back over. Close that a little bit better. I think there's a little gap there. I'm just going to give it a little wiggle. And then attach my ear wire on. So it's going to sit that way. I think they're quite cute. You could even pop a little bead on them if you wanted to. Shall I put it in? So as I say today, we are doing the camellia ring bracelets. I've just gone rogue and made an earring. Just one earring. I'm going to have to make another one on my right? <laughs> Might as well have a pair. I can't get that in. We'll try this here instead. There you go. Cute. Three different choices of your bracelets to choose from today. You can go for your black plate, your silver or your gold. I'll take you very quickly back over to the website. We're doing the Camellia Ring Bracelets. They are £6.99 and you're getting at least five in your kit there. So a lovely quick little make for you today. Um, I hope you've liked them. I've, I've enjoyed making them. You know, we, we got that done and, and one rogue earring. In, I mean, I took my time explaining it to you, but it really will probably take you about 10, 15 minutes probably to do. It won't take you very long at all. Um, our Jan says, Fab tutorial. Thank you, Natalie. You are most welcome. Barbara says, I've got a floor full of seed beads now. Oh, no, a kitten interfered. Right. My tip for that is if you've got um, your vacuum cleaner nozzle, like a pair of tights, slide your pair of tights over your vacuum. I'm just going to say hoover. I know it's a brand, but pop it over the end of your hoover and then hoover them up and it should get them all together, but not to go into your actual vacuum cleaner. They're just going to stay in, in your part of your tight. You should be able to, to get them with ease. <laughs> Pets, what do they say? Don't work with live animals and um, children. <laughs> 
Um, Lucy says, I've gone a bit static now and I sound like a robot. Is that still the case? Do I still sound like a robot? Um, Joanne says, clouds are forming, so not such a nice day after all. Never ending. Stay in and create. Um, plus, the plants need the rain. Barbara says, gorgeous. Thank you very much. Lucy says, very sweet make and it's already in a basket. Get it to check out, Lucy. You've got that discount on um, today. I don't know how long it'll be on for. It's usually about a week. Um, Camille says the sun's gone in and it's gone cold. Uh, Tony's asking Antonio to send um, a king prawn masala his way, please, or her way, please. Sorry, Tony, I don't know um, whether you're oh, they. <laughs> Shelley says the rain is getting heavy now. Uh, lovely life. We'll try and make it later. Apparently, I'm back to normal. I'm no more like a robot. Barbara says, yeah, I did that last week as my granddaughter had her own beads to play with when I took her to nursery. Judith says, very pretty. Tony says, looks brilliant, Natalie. Hopefully no food talk from Antonio to distract me when I make it. Um, and Esther says, you sound like you're speaking from experience. Yeah, see, beads, size 11s are the worst. <laughs> I, I often have, um, well, Frank will be playing on the floor with his cars and his dinosaurs or whatever, and he always says to me, Mom, look what I found. It's usually a piece of wire or a bead. Um, so, yeah, if you've not got a Frank, use your hoover. <laughs> Camille says, cute make, thank you. Have a great day crafting. And Barbara says, thank you. She's going to head for a kit now. Thank you so much for joining me, everybody. Um, I will be back with you on Friday. I'd just be guessing if I told you what I'm making Friday. Um, don't know. I've got my stitch beading project coming up soon, so it could be that. But if it is, tune in. It'll be worth a laugh. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you all have a very, very lovely week, and I will see you soon. Take care.